सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज दैट इज रैंडम नंबर जनरेशन एज रैंडम नंबर प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द यूज ऑफ इंक्रिप्शन फॉर वेरियस नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी जन एप्लीकेशन लाइक की डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन एरियो ओके की डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन scenario for or generating nonce which are used for handshaking to prevent the replay attacks okay for the session key generation session key generation okay and another one is that uh, generation of keys generation of keys for the rsa public key encryption algorithm okay so these are some uh, uh, areas where we use random numbers so today we are going to discuss uh, some algorithm which are used to generate these random numbers okay so the random number we can uh, defined as that any mathematical number that fulfill two main requirements means the two requirements are first requirement is for a mathem uh, any mathematical number that fulfill on these two requirement then that mathematical number is called random numbers so the first requirement is randomness randomness okay and another one is unpredictability unpredictability if these two requirement fulfill on any mathematical number then that number is called random number so what is a randomness and what is unpredictability so the randomness is if there are further two requirements the requirements will be uniform distribution okay and the other further requirement is independence okay if these two Uh, these two if these two requirements fulfill on any mathematical number then the property randomness can also be fulfilled so what is a uniform distribution means that the distribution of number in the sequence should be uniform or we can say that the frequency of occurrence of each of the number should be approximately the same then it is called uniform distribution and independence means that no one value in the sequence can be inferred from the others okay so if these two requirement fulfills then the randomness property also fulfill so which is one of the requirement to be a random number and another requirement is unpredictability so unpredictability means that each random number should be independent of each other okay so each random number should be independent to each other so if these two requirement fulfill means randomness that is if we are uh, all those number in the sequence have a uniform distribution and no one number in the sequence can be inferred from the others and each in the random number we are independent to of each other then that number we can say it is called random number okay now if as we know that that the main requirement of a random number is unpredictability but if we are using uh, any algorithm or to calculate the random number then that random number is called pseudo random number generator or in short we can say it as p r n g s so what is pseudo random number generator means if we are using any algorithm okay or with the help of the algorithm if we are generate any random number means we can predict the what is the next value so they are random number but we can predict easily with the help of an algorithm so that random is random number is called pseudo random numbers so there are two algorithm which are which can be used to generate a pseudo random numbers the first algorithm is called lcg lcg stands for linear congruential okay generator so this is the first algorithm which is used to uh, generate pseudo random number and another algorithm is called bbs that is blum blum shub algorithm 
Okay, so in this video we are going to discuss the first algorithm that is LCG and in my next video or in my upcoming video I am going to discuss the next uh, algorithm which are used for pseudo random number generator that is BBS. Okay, so we will take a look for LCG algorithm. Okay, so uh, as we know that that LCG or we can say linear congruential generator it is used uh, to generate pseudo random number generation okay so it this algorithm was first proposed by lemmer okay which is called linear congruential generator so this algorithm is parameterized with four numbers okay the four numbers are m a c and x naught what is m here m is the modulus value m is the modulus value which lie between it always be greater than 0 ok. What is A here? A is a multiplier. A is a multiplier and it value is lie between 0 and M. Now this C is your increment, increment value and it C value lie between 0 and M and the last value X naught is your starting value, starting value or we can say seeding, seed value, seed value, okay, means uh, if we have to calculate uh, rent 5 random numbers or 6 random numbers from 1 to 32, then in, in that case x naught is 1 here and the modulus well, m is 32 here. So, it gives a range for which we have to calculate the random pseudo random numbers. Okay. So, x naught is your starting value or seeding value which lies between 0 and m. So, in this algorithm that is in LCG algorithm we are using four these four parameters m modulus a multiplier c increment and x naught is a starting or seeding value and to calculate the next value the formula is x n plus 1 is equal to a x n plus c mod m. So, with the help of this formula we can calculate the next value which is called pseudo random number generation algorithm. So, okay. So, now we take one example, one numerical to see that, that how this algorithm works, okay. Suppose, uh, if m, all the four parameters that is m, a, c and x naught are integer, then this technique will produce a sequence of integers, okay. For example, uh, example is, um, if I am taking a, a is your multiplier value that is 7, okay. Then next value is uh, C that is the increment value is 0 if I am taking this and uh, the next modulus value is 32 and the starting value is equal to 1. Means I have to calculate some random numbers from the range to 1 to 32 okay with the help of the LCG algorithm okay. So how we can calculate it? So first we have to calculate x1 why because x0 is x naught is 1 here. So, to calculate the next value, so we are, you are, we are using this formula that is xn plus 1 is equal to a xn plus c mod m. So, we only substitute all the values of these uh, in the, in this formula. So, x1 plus, x1 is, we can calculate it, a is 7 here into xn. Here, x1, if we are uh, calculating x1, so here we are putting x naught. So, x naught is 1 plus what is the c value? c is your increment value that is 0 mod m. What is m value? That is 32. So, if I solve this formula uh, values that is 7 into 1 plus 0 that is 7. 7 mod 32 is 7 only. Okay. So, the first uh, uh, random number we are generating that is 7 here. Now, then we calculate x2 in the same way. So, x2 can will be ca calculated as a x n. So, in this case a, uh, a is 7, xn is that is x1, so that is 7 here, increment value is 0 mod 32, so this means 49 mod 32 and it will, it will, uh, it will come out to be 17 here. Then we calculate next value that is x3, so x3 can be calculated as 7 into 17 
plus 0 mod 32. So, it comes out to be 119 mod 32 then it will be 23. Now, the next value we have to calculate that is x4 here. So, 7 into 23 plus 0 mod 32 and it will be uh, if we calculate or we solve this uh, equation then it will be 1 here. Now, if I calculate x5 here, so x5 will be 7 into 1 plus 0 then we have mod 32 means this is equal to x1 here. So, it comes out to be 7. So, it means that if I calculate uh, the next value x is then it uh, will come out to be 17 then 23 means the same sequence will be come out. So, we, ha we have to stop here and at last we can say that if I have to generate random numbers in between 1 to 32. So, there are 4 random values that is 7, 17, 23 and 1. And in, in this uh, with the help of this algorithm, we can predict the next value. So, this random number are called as pseudo random numbers. Okay. So, this generate a sequence of 7, uh, 17, 23, 1 and again 7 here, which is means out of 32 values means from 1 to 32 there, there are to total of 32 value. So, out of 32 possible value only 4 value are we are using. Okay, so this sequence is said to be have a period of 4, period of 4. Okay, so this is how we can use LCG algorithm that is linear congruential generator algorithm to calculate pseudo random numbers. Okay, so if you have any doubt then you can ask in our comment section and in my next video I am going to discuss the next algorithm of pseudo random number that is BBS. So, keep watching our video. Thank you so much.